Trouble on the rails. Two men charged with cheating the commuter rail operator out of millions of dollars. We want to head straight to WBC's Christina Rex, who is live at the Ruggles commuter rail stop. Christina. Chris, listen, Keolis is the private company that operates the commuter rail for the MBTA. And this is a Keolis employee as well as another man who are charged right now. Now, the feds say up to $8 million and maybe more went missing over the course of seven years before anybody noticed. We have no comment. John Pigsley, or Big John as he's known, walked out of federal court without a word. The former Keolis employee is charged for allegedly skimming more than $8 million meant for upgrades to the commuter rail. I'm just shocked. I mean, I'm stunned. I... While working for the commuter rail, Pigsley was in charge of ordering and approving electrical supplies to fix the trains. The feds allege he contracted a friend, John Rafferty, for electrical services. But instead of real work, he paid Rafferty Keolis funds for personal items, including nine trucks, seven bobcats, windows, countertops, designer cabinets for home repair, and a camper. Oh, my God. Plus, the feds say he bought copper coils for the trains, but instead sold them to scrapyards. The stolen funds, more than $8 million. That's insane. I can't believe that $8 million went unnoticed. That's the more surprising thing. Like, some money is like, you can slip some stuff under the table, I suppose, sometimes. Like, it might be easy, but $8 million is a lot of money to go missing. Seven. Investigators believe the scheme went on for more than seven years up until 2021. We asked commuter rail riders for their reaction. I'm not surprised at all. As these riders waited for a delayed train home, they wondered what could have been different if someone had paid attention. I, I don't know. I just think uh, with all the delays and all the things we have to endure, I wonder if we could have got things fixed a lot faster had that $7 million been able to be utilized for the right reasons. And the MBTA tells me that Keolis notified it immediately once it uncovered this scheme and paid back all of the missing money. Live at the Ruggles station, Christina Rex, WBZ News.